met three times. Cassiope leads the series 3-0. Well, every time the score's gotten closer. Will this be the time Kirk Lee to be able to flip the script? And it looked we'll like Kirk Lee had it at Big Tens. He got the takedown, was riding, and he got reversed late to send it into overtime and give it the takedown in sudden victory to give Cassiope the third win in the rivalry for Kirkfleet. He's attacking from space, that's where he's most dangerous. Fires off doubles, doubled the single from space. He's got great speed to the leg and he's a strong finisher. Cassiope wants his hands on you, wants to move you around. He's got a really nice high crotch. He finishes uh, at a pretty high percentage when he pulls the trigger. Cassiope out of Illinois, Kirkley from Minnesota. Both guys put on some good size in the offseason, too. Cassiope turned a lot of heads last year when he had really slimmed down considerably. Keep those hands clean. So far, Cassiope able to get to the ties a little more consistently. In the tie-up, you'll see uh, Kerfleet does a good job of controlling wrists. A little stutter. It's an interesting rivalry with, with these Big Ten heavyweights. Kirkfleet's uh, been able to have the edge against Mason Paris. Mason Paris, the edge over Cassiope, and Cassiope over Kirkfleet. An interesting triangle there, and I'm curious if we'll see any changes in that route, those rivalries this upcoming season. We'll learn a lot tonight. There's Ooh. a double from space. Wow. Great finish. Creed. Really smooth takedown from Greg Kirk. Work on the edge. Russell on the edge. And he, he's so good from space, and he gets in so deep with Creed. such force. There's a, not a lot of opportunity for his opponents to defend, but this is not uncharted waters for, for Kirkfleet. You remember the, the duel of Carver Hawkeye? Kirkfleet stung him with a similar Creed. leg attack. No change. Cassiope control. proceeded to ride him really well. And then similarly, it was, it was Kirkfleet with a takedown advantage of Big Tens. Cassiope was able to find a way to win. So Kerfleet knows that he Three can't seven. rest on his laurels after getting one takedown. Okay. Viper on the left, throws leg, leg in. in on that side. Okay. Scoots off just a little bit, or scoots off, falls off, whatever you want to say. Cassiope body. catches that hit, but Kerfleet kind of anchors himself back up on top, catches the far ankle, and improves. This is different. This is improve. Good spot here. Good pressure too. He's, he's got the he's got the leg in. He's controlling the far ankle. Probably looking for Cassiope to step that foot up. Cassiope's no fool. If that foot goes up, it could be a far side cradle. But good job by Cassiope up and out as riding time hits exactly one minute. So two one the lead for Kirkfleet. So in the duel, it was Cassiope was able to ride well with that double thigh pry. It, Big tens it was a great little elbow roll off the thigh pry. He was able to get the reversal was Kirk Fleet. So we'll see the, the top bottom tactics as we head into the second period. It's Kirk Fleet's choice, he's gonna go under. So here's a big test for Kirk Fleet. Back to the thigh pry for Cassiope, trying to build his Kirk Fleet. Step up is Cassiope through a leg. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Doesn't, well, doing a good job though. Kirkley looked like he was almost out up to his feet now and is out. Yeah, nice, nice work from, from Kirkley getting up and out. 3 1 now the score. Kirkley in the lead. Hands clean. Do it. Do it. Do it. Kirk. Side, high crotch in deep. Good sprawl, though, by Kirkley. Shoots him off the mat out of bounds. There's going to be a stall warning. Hey, that gets Kirkley. And Cassiope was. Seems like he got in pretty decent on the leg, but good job sprawling and, and off the second effort as well. And Kirkley comes in the shot. And immediately he's gonna score the takedown with a minute to go here in the second. He goes out on a 5-1. Boot and right back in. Again, yeah. 
Throws the leg in on the left side, and he's in a decent spot, has that right hand on the ankle, anchors himself back in on the top position. Cassiope swims watch through. The reversal here. He would like to step over, but his leg's stuck. But he may, this is close. Green. This is not a great position for Kirkfleet. I don't think it's where he wanted to be. He's scooting Although, well, though. Gosh, yeah. He's actually okay. He's got his legs locked. Green. Cassiope seems so Green. close, but so yeah, far really away is. in that position. Green. I feel like you're right there. And now he's gonna try to go the other Hips direction. almost on top. He's in trouble, a big reversal there, 5-3. Riding time at 122 for Kirkfleet for now coming down with the last five seconds yeah, big, of this second period. Big reversal, getting that late, under 10 seconds to go. Those are big points. Cassiope's choice. Going down? He's gonna go under, you gotta figure. And is that boot coming back in? Because if he, if he gets reversed again, reversal, ride out at the right time. Could send this into a uh, sudden victory yet again. If you're Kirkley, you've had the advantage from your feet. But the stall call baiter is looming large. If they get back on the neutral, he's gonna have to stay engaged and wrestle. You gotta be careful rolling around there if you're Cassiope. Yeah, I thought maybe a one count was common. Wasn't quite long enough. Kirkley just holds on to a wrist and a waist right here. Pulling that wrist looking head lever. A la Spencer Lee. He's sitting on that ankle. Now riding time approaching two minutes now. Cast up, cast up. Fighting and he's away. So 5-4 on the scoreboard. Two minutes of riding time for Kirkley. And that is just about locked. And now it is locked in, so that point's coming. Effectively a two-point lead for Kirkfleet. So either quite a few stall calls or a takedown for Cassiope necessary. We're got, coming up on a minute to go. And then right, not just a takedown, but a takedown right out. Yes. Cassiope not being able to get in deep, and as I say that, yeah. he fires off an extended single, That's trying to step up. He's getting in good position. As deep as he's been, tries to cut it back. Kirkley. I don't know if he's going to be able to keep him up. balled up here. This still seems like a good position for Cassiope. Now he pulls up. Oh, nice job by Kirkley. Wow. Pops ahead to the inside. Throws both hips down that head. And he looks like he may good circle position. around and score a takedown here, and he does. And that's seemingly going to ice it for Greg Kirkley up by three, effectively Green. four with 10 seconds to go. Green, one red. Man, Cassiope was so close on that finish. Great defense from Kirkfleet. Valiant effort from Cassiope, but Kirkfleet's gonna get over the hump here. Eight five winner over Tony Cassiope, and he's gonna hold with on to his number two ranking. An eight five yeah. decision yeah. for Good Penn solid State. match here between the heavyweights. Greg Kirkfleet. Quite a few take, three takedowns for, for Kirkfleet. Yeah, that's the difference. And, you know, he needed all of them, Bader. Every single one of those was absolutely necessary because Cassiope was so close on that last shot to scoring. Great adjust, there's that first takedown.